Okay, now we're going to talk about getting a provider for our news groups. News groups differ in that you actually have to have a provider to point you to all the news groups. And it doesn't matter which provider you choose, they all have access to the same news groups. So the problem here is that, unlike torrents, this is usually a paid service. However, there are a couple of ways you can get a free one. Now, the first thing you should do is see if your internet service provider provides it for you. They may well provide you with Usenet access, and it may be good Usenet access. Now, the what is important in a news group access is that you have a decent retention period. What that means is that anything that has been uploaded in the last X number of days, you'll be able to access. So something with a retention period of one day means you'll only be able to get things that were accessed or that were uploaded that day. Okay, so 30 days is somewhat useful and a lot of internet service providers will supply that level. Okay, so what you wanna do is first see if your Usenet is available through your internet service provider. Now a good way to find out this is just to go to Google and say uh, Usenet access and then your internet service provider. So let's say Rogers and then see what they say here. So I'll go down past the So News Gip and Rogers. So just go over here and see what you can find out about it. So after a quick search here, I found that I could not get access to Usenet if I was a Rogers customer. So this should be your first port of call is to see if you can get Usenet access with your provider. So where you want to go is xsusenet.com. And this one will give you free access. Now, many of them will give you a free trial where you have to put a credit card down. You get a week's trial with full access. And then after that, you have to pay. With this one, you can try it without having to put anything down. And it's good forever. It's not a trial. So if you go to sign up here, and you'll see right on the left here, you have one megabit free lifetime access. So it limits the speed to one megabit. Uh, you have unlimited data, two connections, one host, no SSL, secure socket layer. Retention is 10 days and posting not allowed. And so this will get you started. And then you have, now these are in euros here but I'm not gonna suggest a provider. You can do the research you wanna do if you decide you wanna stick with Usenet. I'm just gonna get you started. But you see here the retention days. Now you have 1100 days, that's almost four years. Well, it's over three years anyway of content. So that's why you wanna look at the retention days when you go and pay for one. Okay, so what you will do is you'll just go here and sign up. And it's easy. What you're gonna do, you just give your email address and then the caption and sign up, simple as that. Okay, so it then sends you an activation link that you'll have to click in your email. Okay, so once you get the email, you can click to go to the client area. In the email, there's some other important messages, your service, your server name and your ports that you're gonna need. But for now, we're just going to sign into the client area. So just use the username you signed up with, which would be your email address and the password you were sent within your email. Okay, and then once you get in here, you'll be able to see the information you need. Okay, so with this one, you have your Usenet address and you have a VPN address. They give you free access to a VPN if you want to use that. And that's only for 30 days, I believe. But this is the information that you need down here. And then you can upgrade if you want. 
Okay, so this is all we need for our provider. We don't really do anything else in here anymore. Uh, once we have the provider, it just supplies our client with the information. Okay, so in the next in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get a client and then set it up. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. There are more complex ways to do it, and the more that has no software that has more function, but I'm going to show you an easy way to get started.